Hello everyone, Blue here. On today's episode of Kerbal Space Program, technically my first episode, we are going to be building a rover to take to the moon. And if you can't tell by the title and thumbnail, this isn't your ordinary rover. This rover is going to walk. Now I start with an MK2 lander can and start constructing the legs out of a combination of hinges, octagonal struts, and some grip pads. And I proceed to do the exact same thing to the other side. Now the purpose of this rover is basically just to scout out a nice, relatively flat area to start our base. I originally got this leg design from Loveless's spider tank from the movie Wild Wild West. Now I just start setting a few angles just to get a basic idea of what the legs are going to look like. Then I place some cal controllers, then program those angles in just to make the programming process later a lot easier. Once I'm happy with the leg design, I'll start programming the sequence for the front leg. Basically just getting it to reach straight out and pull straight back. This is a bit of a tedious process, and to show that, this part of the video is sped up by 40 times. Once I'm happy with the programming, I start the programming on the next leg. The programming for this leg is going to be slightly different as it doesn't reach straight out and pull straight back. Once I'm happy with the programming, I start copying all the angles and all the play sequences to the other side. Set my timing. Set the action groups. Then hide them for aesthetic effect. Now, I technically don't have to do this, it's only so it looks nicer. Now I start adding your basic rover parts, such as a light and a ladder. Now, I technically don't need this reaction wheel, it's only for extra control just in case I roll over. And I know some of you are saying, Blue, what are you doing? You're clipping parts. Well, I assure you, I don't really have to as the batteries can easily ride on the outside. It's only for aesthetic effect. Now, I add some solar panels as the legs use an enormous amount of electrical charge. So we got to keep those batteries charged up. And since it's a scout spider for the moon, we're going to call it spout. Now we're going to start constructing the rocket that's actually going to take us to the moon. Now, I've never been particularly good at building rockets, and it took me a lot longer than I'd like to admit to learn how to build one and have it fly correctly with absolutely no testing. Now, I'm not really sure if any other KSP players have experienced this, but after you build so many failed rockets, you kind of learn what to do and what not to do. So, needless to say, this whole video was done in one go. From build to flight, absolutely no testing or quick saves. Now, as most of you have probably noticed by now, I am using tweak scale. I don't necessarily consider this to be cheating, as if this were a real space program, they wouldn't only have one specific size of parts. I'm also using a few other mods, one being Distant Object Enhancements. This tends to make space a bit more dark and scary, just adding to that overall realism. I'd also like to give a shout out to Matt Lone, 
Veos, Komodo's Games, Shadow Zone, and SW Dennis. You guys are all awesome, and you are what inspired me to start this KSP series. Speaking of which, I'm kind of tied between two names, Project Itsy Bitsy and Operation Charlotte's Web. So let me know down in the comments which one you guys think I should use. Now here I'm just picking a basic logo, just to kind of show what the whole mission is all about. Then I start building the fairing. Next I check all my staging, make sure that everything is in the right order. Once I get everything right, then I'll double check. Whoops, looks like I almost forgot my fuel line. Now we just check again. Once everything is right, we're ready for launch. Now, I'm sure a lot of you know how a MUN mission goes, so I'll make sure to keep this nice and short.
And here we are on the mud. Now we just start our walking sequence and start looking for a relatively nice spot to start our base. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps me out. And as always, stay nostalgic.